can't wait, man. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something special to shoot for you. I am doing a African food week and that entails me showing you different types of food that are eaten in different parts of Africa. And the parts that I'll be focusing on are South Africa, Congo, Nigeria and uh, Mozambique. Um, and today I decided to start with South Africa because that's where I play right now and what I'll be showing you today are delicacies. I won't be showing you all the foods obviously um, but I'll be showing you the main ones that took my heart away and the ones that I really really enjoy and the ones that I can easily veganize um, and to show you that you can still enjoy your your cultural staples and your traditional meals just in a veganized way and it's okay man um, so yeah, so today I'll be making for you uh, fat cook or maguena and mince and um, I'll also be making for you pup and chakalaka. Um, so yeah, let's begin. So I'm going to be starting with making, um, making you the mince um, just because that'll be an easier thing to start with and then all the chopping that I need to do with the chakalaka we can do later on and to make that I'll be using one and a half shallots and I'm just gonna chop up here's my my rubbish plate I'll be putting in all the rubbish that I'll be using throwing away I mean you can use this in your compost it's really good for compost or you can also use it to make vegetable stock I recently saw a video by sweet potato soul where she made um, vegetable stock using her food scraps and apparently it tasted good. Obviously I don't know this because I haven't made it before but you can do that as well if you want to. Or compost which is probably what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to dice that up. You want it in small, not really that small but smallish cubes. What I like about using a shallot is that it's almost like a, a garlic and an onion made a baby because it, it has the perfect punch of garlic but not too much and it also has onion so it's like a two in one okay that's enough and i'm also going to be chopping up some parsley we had some parsley that's going a bit you know wilted so i just thought adding it to the mince will add a lovely flavor and it's a great way to add to use up the parsley that's going up at all. You don't need that much of the stems. Okay, so now we're gonna move over to our pan. Okay, and we're just gonna put in our onions in there. This is a pan that's heated up. We're just gonna put on our onions to caramelize. And just some, a little bit of oil. Putting in some cloves so that I'm gonna crush in here. This helps with tempering the spice. This is about half a teaspoon of pickle spice that we're gonna be crushing. in a teaspoon of garlic actually we're putting in two teaspoons of garlic just a little bit mm -hmm. let that do a thing on low and while that happens I'm just gonna put in a bailey While that fries away, come back this way. You know you can follow me, right? If you want to. Um, okay, here, here, this is actually really cool. I was gonna use the um, the fries brand soy mints, or you can also use the Norox one, um, but I didn't have that, so I, I decided to use some tofu that I froze and I thawed, 
and then I pressed with my flour to release the water and apparently this helps it to taste more like ground beef. The freezing helps it to have an, a very ground beef, beefy texture which I'm excited to use. I'm just going to crumble that up or that rather just cut it up into small pieces. Use your hands, don't be afraid. See, look at the texture now. It's like very interesting, if I do say so myself. I'm just gonna crumble that up, and then we're gonna add it to the um, to the onion and garlic frying, and let that fry off with some spices. It's gonna be so yummy. Of course, if you don't have tofu or you're allergic to soy, you can opt for something else like blended walnuts. Works with breadcrumbs. That works. I've tried it before. It's really yummy. The, the blended walnuts do something. I don't know what they do, but they do something. I'm just gonna crumble, 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 crumble. You can stop recording me doing this. The texture is unbelievable. Just by freezing it. Look what I can get out of this. I'm just trying to make it into a much, much finer. That's fine for me. I'm just gonna go in with my hands just to crumble it up a bit more. You know what the knife couldn't do? We use our hands. Okay, now we're gonna add this to our pan with this. And our onions and garlic have browned beautifully. And to that, I'm gonna be adding one and a half teaspoons of coriander and half a teaspoon of black pepper and some jalapeno paste that will help to give some heat and some flavor as well. For some nice color and for some flavor, some smoky flavor. And some rosemary and olive seasoning. I really like to use this. It's new so I need to open it first. We'll be adding in about two teaspoons of this. It already has salt, so you don't have to add salt. I'm going to add a little bit of water just to help scrape off the flavor on the sides. You see the bottom? A little bit of water. half of this, not the whole mixture, because we're going to use some for the chakalaka as well. A third of the tomato mixture. And then, to add a the more fluffy flavor, I'll be adding some of this chili beef Narox powder. Um, it's vegan, so you'll be fine. <laughs> Add just a teaspoon of this. Um, this is some water mixed with a teaspoon of vegan chili dips, beef stock. You can also add a vegetable bouillon if you want, or a vegetable cube. I just wanted to add this for some more flavor.
this pepper to the mint. Because I like green pepper in the mint. I feel like it gives it a nice, nice flavor. <laughs> mushrooms have a lot of water when we close it off the water is going to be released and the juices will be imbued oh it's going to be delicious and oh. and that is our mint it smells like really yummy and adjacent to that we have our chakalaka steaming me it's yummy this is really delicious guys Now that I made my mince, the only things that are left are the cup and the fat cakes, or as we call them, maguena. Um, I'll be showing you how to make the fat cakes. Now that we made this, we can put that aside and we can begin with our fat cakes. Let's just close the lid. We don't want. We don't want. We just want to retain the heat. Okay. Hi. Um, now we're making the fat cakes. Here we have a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, just a little bit for some, you know, for some flavor flavor. And I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of sugar for some sweetness. And then we'll also be adding a tablespoon of butter, but that's not really a tablespoon, it's a bit less, but it doesn't matter. For some flavor, we're just going to mark this. Half a cup of buttermilk. And here I have milk. Um, soy milk that I put in here and to make butter milk we are actually going to add some lemon juice that helps to curdle a little bit of seeds it helps to curdle the milk and that makes your own homemade butter milk this lemon juice is not coming out now
fat cook and mince and we're just gonna take one of these lovely fat cooks that are crispy on the outside but soft on the inside look at that look at that oh my gosh and then we're gonna dish some of our mince yes see this this is what you call love this and one more put some mince in there and there you have it fed cook and mince Stop. and now just please move your book out of the and now to try And there you have it, our cook systems or fed cooks, our vegan mints that made this delicious, very delicious, very, very yummy. Did you tell them? Very delicious. Mm. That's what you have in our South African edition delicacies that I chose for today. And Thank you for watching. Are we finished train? Okay. Thank you for watching. Um, comment in those comments below what I do differently that you that you don't do what I what do you prefer to do when you make your food and if you want to try this out. And yeah, bye. See you in the next video.